Blessings to uh, to everybody. Hey, listen, for those of you that are coming in, go ahead and invite your followers. Go ahead and invite your followers. Um, I promise not to be here too long. If you can invite your followers as you come in, I would really, really, really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Listen, the whole idea and ideology and concept of prophecy uh, is to forewarn you um, of that which is to come. The whole process, the whole concept rather, the whole idea and the whole ideology of, uh, of prophecy is to, for the most part, forewarn you uh, of that which is to come. And that word prophecy um, actually comes from the Greek word prophetio, which simply means to decree clearly the very oracle and sound and word of the Lord. And uh, I am here to decree clearly the oracle and sound and word of the Lord um, in relation to what is about to transpire for you in the month of July. Uh, I think that it is so significantly imperative to understand uh, and to, for a lack of better words, be intimate with the vein in which God has caused you to flow in. Uh, and of course, as, as a prophet, uh, God has given me a mantle uh, to not only speak what thus saith the Lord, uh, but also as a prophet, I flow in that vein of encouragement. Uh, I have a burden. I have a burden to uh, to strengthen people. Uh, I have a burden to to uplift people. Um, I have a burden to to encourage people. I have a burden uh, not to tear people down, but I've got a burden. Uh, to build people up and, 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 and this is so amazing because um, it is a burden that I have always carried uh, even before discovering that God had graced me with the mantle of operating in the prophetic. Uh, I believe that uh, I didn't say the pathetic, I said the prophetic. Uh, some folk operate in the pathetic and some folk operate in the prophetic. I said the prophetic. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe that I recognize this burden uh, even uh, before having been saved, uh, even before having accepted uh, the Lord Christ uh, as my Lord and as my Savior. Uh, I had a burden. Um, even before I probably even knew that God ever existed, I, I just had a burden to, to encourage people and, and to strengthen people. So, so as a prophet, I know the road in which I travel and the journey in which I take, of course, and the road in which I travel and the journey in which I take um, and wearing this mantle uh, is that of encouraging and, uh, and uplifting people. Uh, sitting here in my car and the Lord began to minister to me and the Lord said I want you to tell the people of God I want you to tell the people in whom uh, you will have have an opportunity to minister to 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 decree to to declare to uh, tell those in whom uh, you will have uh, an opportunity uh, to speak the things of God to that the month of July is going to be uh, the beginning, the beginning of many manifestations for those in whom have seed in the ground. Uh, it's going to be the beginning. It's going to begin to begin. You, you're going to see whereby in the month of July, things are going to begin to turn for you in ways in which you never thought they would begin to turn for you. I'm sitting here in my car and the Lord began to speak to me and God began to minister to me uh, and God began to talk to me, to communicate and articulate uh, to me the things of God 
uh, whereby the month of July uh, is concerned. He says, I want you to tell the people of God that the month of July uh, shall be the beginning of months uh, whereby things will begin to manifest uh, for those in whom have seed in the ground. Uh, everybody who sings, let it rain, won't benefit from the rain. Um, I've discovered that when the rain comes, one of the purposes uh, that the rain serves as is to help the seed that has been sown into the ground to manifestate. Uh, when you don't have seed in the ground, the rain doesn't help you. The rain doesn't aid you. The rain doesn't assist you. Uh, it only assists those in whom have seed uh, in the ground. The Lord said, tell the people that in the month of July, the rain is falling and the rain is falling hard. You're going to notice, you're going to notice so as it is in the spiritual and so as it is in the natural. And please hear this by way of the Holy Ghost. You're going to notice that in the month of July, we are going to have tremendous rainfalls everywhere. In the month of July and I'm talking about that which is natural now I'm talking about that which is natural now we're going to have tremendous rainfalls everywhere everywhere every time you look around and you're watching you're sitting down and you're watching the news you are going to discover that rain uh, is falling in heavy degrees and it's falling in heavy degrees pretty much everywhere and and what's about to manifest uh, in the natural uh, is a sign of what God has already done in the spiritual. Uh, the month of July uh, is going to be a month. It is going to be a month. It is going to be a month whereby the rain that falls in July in the natural is going to be significantly manifestative of what God has already done in the spiritual uh, where your seed is concerned. I'm talking to folk who got seed in the ground. The month of July is going to be, and please hear me, I didn't say it was going to be the month. I said that the month of July is going to be the beginning of months. You're going to see whereby things that haven't turned around for you as of yet uh, will begin to turn around for you. You're going to see whereby in the month of, 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 of July, doors are going to begin to open for you. Galatians chapter 6, right about verse 7 says this. The word of the Lord says, and be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Uh, whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. This is the word of the Lord. Are y'all with me? This is not hermonology, but this is theology. The word of God, Galatians chapter 6, right about verse 7, uh, simply says, Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Uh, the word mocked simply means God is not to be played with, and nor is God uh, to be toyed with. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. Whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. Whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. Whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. And when you begin to understand uh, the principles whereby agriculture is governed, uh, you will discover that you will always reap more than what you sow. Uh, I said, when you begin to understand the principle by which agriculture is governed, uh, you will always begin to understand that you will always reap more uh, than, than what you sow. If you sow an apple seed, that apple seed has the ability and the dexterity and the capacity to reap and to bring forth a bushel of apples because you will always reap more than what you sow. The Lord told me to tell you that embedded inside your seed is more than what you're sowing. Be not deceived for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, uh, that same shall he reap. That means if you sow nothing, you get nothing because nothing from nothing leaves what? Leaves nothing. You, you got to have something. Y'all finish the rest off, all right? Finish the rest. Uh, in, in the gospel, according to Luke chapter 8, right about verse 11, uh, Jesus says, watch this now. He says, the seed is the word. The seed is the word. The seed is the word. When you think in terms of seeds, every seed has the ability and the dexterity and the capacity to produce after its own kind. 
Um, if you sow an orange seed, you're going to reap an orange. If you sow an apple seed, you're going to reap an apple. Um, if you sow a watermelon seed, you are going to reap a watermelon. Why? Because every seed has the ability uh, to reap after its own kind. There is a wind of change. There is a wind of change blowing for the month of July that is going to begin to turn around some things for you, that's going to begin to change some things for you. I'm telling you what I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, and I'm telling you what God is saying now. There is a wind of change, a wind of change. There is a wind of change that's going to begin to change some things for you, to, to turn around some things for you, things that have not been changed and things that have not turned around thus far, things that you've been waiting on God to change and believing God to change and praying for God to change and fasting for God uh, to change and praising for change and worshiping for change and serving for change. There are things that are going to begin to change for you uh, in the month of July that has not yet changed uh, for you before. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say that the month of July shall be the beginning. It is not that everything is going to happen for you in July, but the month of July is going to be the beginning of a new change. For the word of the Lord says that a wind of change is blowing. For those of you that are under the sound of my voice and whom are hearing this prophetic word and you believe that this is God, I want you to sow a $20 and 20 cents seed, wind of change seed, wind of change seeds, $20 and 20 cents wind of change seed, www.prophetmitchell.org, or, or, or you can go to, hey Rhonda, blessings to you, blessings to you, or you can go to the cash app at dollar sign, okay, there is my, my periscope secretary, blessings to you, or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. Uh, for those of you in whom believe this to be God, now for those of you who thinks that this is foolishness and it's craziness and it's manipulation and he's just talking to be talking and there's no change that's going to transpire you, well, this is not for you. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I am only talking to those in whom have ears to hear and that know this to be God. You know that this is the spirit of the Lord. I am not talking to those of you who do not believe that this is not. I want you to have an understanding that I am speaking to those who believe that it is. I want you to go to the website. Thank you, either www.prophetmitchell.org or you can go to the website dollar sign Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And I want you to sow. Somebody said, this is a true man of God. I have multiple testimonies. There is, is that Sharika? Yes, that's at Sharika. The woman of God says, this is a true man of God because I have multiple testimonies from his prophecies. I want you to sow that $20 and 20 cents change, a wind of, 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 of change seed. There was a wind of change. Blessings to you, Lyrus. There is a wind of change that's blowing uh, for the month of July. A wind of change, a wind of change that's blowing for the month of July. And there was something that was just brought to my attention. I'm hearing God even now, but something was just brought to my attention that I hadn't even thought of up until this very second. The Lord said that remind them that the month of July marks the seventh month in the year of our Lord 2019. He says, tell them that the month of July, the month of July, the month of July marks the seventh month, the month of July. Somebody says one more time, cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. He says, remind them that the month of July marks the seventh month in 2019, the year of our Lord, the number seven, is the number of completion. It is the number of completion for those of you, and I am a man in whom believes wholeheartedly uh, in biblical numerology, which means numbers in the Bible means something. Numbers uh, in the word of the Lord has significance. He says, remind them, even as I speak, the Lord began to minister to me and God began to say to me, he says, remind them that the month of July is the seventh month of the year of our Lord, 2019. 
numbers hold a, a biblical a, a significance a, a, in biblical numerology they hold importance they hold significance where biblical numerology is concerned he says remind them that the number seven is indeed the number of completion. The number of completion. Remind them that I, the Lord thy God, who starts a thing, can complete a thing as well. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He says, from everlasting uh, to everlasting, thou art God. God will never start something. He says, tell them that I will never start something, that I do not have the power and the authority and the ability and the capacity uh, to complete blessings to your prophetess mogul good to see you tell them that I will never start something he which had begun a good work and you shall complete it until the day of redemption he says remind them remind them that I will finish in them what I started in them remind them that I will finish for them what I started for them you got to get this in the spirit now this is only for those in whom have ears to hear he says remind them that I will finish in them what I started in them remind them that I will finish for them what I started for them whatever God started for you he's going to finish it for you and whatever God started in you, he's going to complete it in you. He says, tell them that I have not forsaken them. I've not yet walked away from them. Tell them I've not turned a blind eye and a deaf ear for them. Tell them that I have brought them too far to leave them. Tell them that I am not going to start something in them and start something for them and then walk away from them. Tell them that I shall complete that which I have started within them. There are those of you who are here now, you felt like God turned away from you. You felt like God had turned a blind eye. You felt like God had turned a deaf ear. You felt like God had abandoned you. You felt like God had walked away from you. You felt like God had forgotten about you. You felt like God was not listening to you. God says, tell them that no, I have not left them. I've not abandoned them. Tell them that I am listening to them. Tell them that I'm watching over them. Tell them that I have not forgotten about them. Tell them that he which had begun a good work in them shall complete it until the day of redemption. I will not, I will not start something in you, said the spirit of the living God, and not complete that which I have started. I will not promise you something and not give you what I promised you. I will not, I will not decree a thing and yet not bless the thing in which I decree. The spirit of the living God say, tell them that I have not forgotten about them. I want you to go to the website. I want you to go to the website and sow that $20.20 seed of a wind of seed change. In the month of July, God says, tell them that a fresh wind is blowing. A wind of change is blowing. A wind of change is blowing. A wind of transformation is blowing. You're going to find out that in the month of July, God's going to shake up some things. God's going to turn around some things. God is going to rearrange some things. God's going to change some things. The month of July is going to be a different month. It is going to be a different month. It is going to be the beginning of be the beginning of manifestations for those who have seed in the ground, for those who have seed in the ground. I prophesied earlier that in the month of July, you're going to have record highs where rain is concerned, record levels rather, where rain is concerned. You're going to see rain fall in the month of July like you have never seen before. And you're going to discover that what's being birthed in the natural has actually been birthed out of the spirit because in the spirit, the rain is about to fall. And whenever rain falls, it comes for the purpose of helping seed to grow. One of the purposes of the rain is to help seed to grow. If I don't have seed in the ground, nothing can't grow because nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Once again, Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that same shall he reap. I hear the spirit of the Lord say that for many of you, those that will cl were closed in January, I'm talking about those of you who had opportunities and should have walked in certain places in the month of January, January but yet it didn't happen. God said this, he says, tell them that doors that closed on them in January shall reopen for them in July and they shall walk through this time. I don't know who I'm talking to. There are many of you. I don't know. Listen, I don't know who I'm talking to. I am hearing the spirit of the Holy
Holy Ghost. He says, there are many that are here, son, under the sound of your voice, who had doors that were closed on them in January, who had opportunities that should have been extended to them, but yet they were taken away from them. I don't know why. I, I Listen, I don't know why he didn't say February. I don't know why he didn't say March. I don't know why he didn't say April. I specifically heard God say January. He said there were those who had doors closed in their face in January and opportunities that were extended were taken away. He says, tell them that in the month of July, it shall come full focus full focus and those opportunities shall be re-extended and those doors shall be reopened and they will capitalize on opportunities that were taken away and they will walk through doors that had been closed in the month of January. My God, I feel glory right now. I said I feel glory right now. Come on, everybody, go to the website www dot prophet mitchell dot org or you can go to the cash app dollar sign herm h e r m mitch m i t c h and i want you to sow that twenty dollar and twenty cents uh, a, a wind of change seed in the month of july there is a wind of change there is a wind of change god says tell them that i'm changing some things and and i'm reorchestrating some things and and i'm re doing some things and I'm rehashing some things and and I'm reopening some things I'm reopening some things I'm reopening some things those of you in whom had courses in K a uh, 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 cor a uh, a uh, uh, case courses rather that were closed are about to be reopened there are some there's somebody here you had a case course uh, 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 a case rather and the case was closed but it is yet about to be reopened and they shall rule say of the spirit of the living God in your favor. Go to the website www.prophetmitchell.org or you can go to the cash app dollar sign Herm H-E-R-M Mitch M-I-T-C-H and I want you once again to sow that $20.20 wind of change seed. The month of July shall be the beginning of manifestations for those who have seed in the ground. Sow that wind of change seed and watch the things that God begins to change in July and alter in July and shift in July and reopen in July and reestablish in July. July is going to be a different month for you. It's going to be a different month. Blessings. July shall be your month of completion. God shall complete what he started.